stuck in here. And I have a subpar sequel for you. It's called Sniper Assassins and starring Tom Berenger and Michael Clark. Um, or Michael Collins. Um, Tom Berenger plays uh, his, his role from the first couple movies and this time his son winds up being the fall guy for assassination of a political figure uh, and he's being set up to take the fall for the murder and to start a war that would uh, end, uh, end the ban on big medicine corporations. Um, and the big corporate, the big corporation behind it all will stop at nothing to make sure he, he's the fall guy and he dies. Um, so his son asked for his help and the only way he can end up clearing his name is by getting the one who was hired to assassinate him and frame him for the political assassination to agree to help. Um, and it turns out it has a little revenge thing to do with it. Um, and Tom Berger himself as the guy, the his famous character would have to end up taking the hardest shot in his life to save his son. Um, this is a pretty subpar movie. Um, it's great for sniper fans to see Tom Berenger in the role again. Uh, but it has nothing to, no, nothing special to offer except the, uh, decent action and a subpar plot. The acting's okay in this. Um, but in my opinion, they really didn't need to make another sniper movie. Um, but for those series fans of the series, it will be good enough. Um, I give it a 3 out of 5. It's not a great movie, but it's not a bad movie. Um, if you want to see it, it's available on the PlayStation Store or streaming on other networks. Um, might be available at some point on DVD and Blu-ray. You never know. But there are plenty better movies than this. So I suggest you get uh, a better movie. So until my next review, watch those movies, like my videos, and subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments you might have on my comment section. Bye.